This is another El Cheapo tablet. This is, believe it or not, the same make that I've had to replace the digitizers on and also in a previous video, one that had the USB port that had lifted and I had to resolder it. This one, when you plug it in to charge it, appears to have a short circuit. My idea is I've set up my power supply here to five volts and I've set the, I've set a constant current of 250 milliamps. This is the USB port out of an old PC and I'm just injecting the five volts onto that so that I can plug the USB cable into the tablet. So what happens now is when I insert the plug we can see that the voltage drops because the short circuit current. So something around probably this area is going to be getting hot. Let's get in a bit closer and see if we can see what's getting hot. On turning the board over we can see here a component that would appear to certainly have been overheating. If we squirt a little IPA, isopropanol, on it, we can clearly see that it is boiling away there quite fast, so clearly it is getting hot. And finally, an inspection with the Mark I temperature sensor confirms that, yes indeed, this is the faulty component. As for what the component is, H7 indicates that it is a 2 amp 30 volt Schottky diode. The next challenge will be to find a replacement. This is the nearest components I could find on another circuit board, also in the power supply section. This is a 60 volt 2 amp Schottky diode. The challenge is that it is a little over twice the size of the original components, so it won't fit in the same place on the board, so I need to find a solution for that. First, let's get the faulty component removed and clean up the pads and see where we go from there. The solution I've arrived at is to tack the diode down with some super glue and then I'm just going to put some flying leads to the pads. Don't be concerned about the closeness to the ceramic capacitor as that was across the diode anyway. Apologies for the blobby soldering. I guess that the leaded solder doesn't like flowing very much where the unleaded solder was before but it should work. Functional, if not aesthetically pleasing, as we say. Now it's time for the acid test to connect the charger up. So we're looking for the current there, and obviously the device should start up. I haven't ordered the replacement digitizer yet for this one. It all depends upon this test. 0.45 amps, 0.51 amps, 21% and the current now has risen to 1.2 amps. Another result, 